I have like a cup of coffee, you know? I don't know if I'm live or what. Plug my brand new keyboard. Oh, hey, it's your track. Hey, that's right. Now remember, I can't see what's happening. So we're just gonna work with it. Just work with it. Hey, that is a rad shirt. What? That's right, okay, KO. We're working on it right now. We have the singer, uh, Matt, in the building to do some vocals on the OKKO OK song. Okay. So they're gonna knock that out in the background. And I'm gonna knock out something else in the foreground. The question is what? What do you guys want to cover? I think last week was all gear. Um, this week, we gotta do open gear, maybe. So like all gear is kind of, I guess maybe like instead of just any tracker. Oh, cause I have Defla Mask. I like the sounds that it makes. I wonder if it's compatible with MIDI. I don't know. I don't know. going on chat talk to me oh uh, I'm going to watch ads for my own channel real quick I could have used this four minutes to finish my coffee and I also thought I had more of these things online PlayStation. Nope, that clearly is still my face. I'm starting to think that this thing just doesn't work. Oh great, it's switching between a bigger and smaller version of me. That's super useful. Well, I have about 30 seconds to figure that out. I was looking for... something else. Anyway, that seems to be working fine. Welcome to the chat room. Welcome to the stream. Um, this is Mint Potion. Uh, we're, 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 we're happy to see you. We stream for your enjoyment. For your the, the puns of today. And we're, today we're going to be playing Overgrowth Alpha because that... No, I'm just kidding. Actually, I, I kind of would like to at some point. Because I've been watching that game for a while. And I've kind of, I don't know, lost all hope. Like whether it'll be any good or not. Um... Let's not restore the previous session. Let's not do that. I'm trying to get MIDI to work in a couple of different trackers. Um, like, I have a keyboard plugged in. I have my, my trusty Arturia Mini Lab. Um, and I need to get into the preferences of this tool set here. Uh, MIDI. MIDI controller one, mini lab, do not ignore velocity. All right. Hey, Sunvox. Yeah, I'm a big fan of Sunvox. Um, regulars on this show might recognize. I like, I like the synthesizer. So, let me know. Link Waker 10. Exactly, uh, you know, don't like flowcharts, ironically. Speaking of my enemies. Yeah, so this signal flowchart can, can potentially be a little bit insane. Do 
the latency is horrendous, as we say. Uh, is there maybe a way to fix this? Nah. <laughs> no, no, there isn't. That's that's great. Thanks, thanks, man. Interface driver output frames per second. Is there anything that's like, you know? Oh, cool metronome. That's neat. I didn't know that was a thing. That is correct. You are looking at Sunvox. Um, a version from a year ago. I'm sure there's a newer version. This thing is getting updated all the time. I don't really like the default, like, preset. I would love to set up some kind of complex, like, MIDI from Ableton, get audio back. <laughs> um, for, like, MIDI to Sunbox, audio back to Ableton. Probably not that hard a thing to do. It's so pretty. I really like the synthesizers. I like this a lot. Um, but is anyone in chat familiar with Sunvox as I try and pimp it out for the 6,000th time? Yeah, I'm seeing nothing. Oh, buffer. Here we go. Better, I guess? Maybe? Yeah, let's restart. Yeah, underrunning. Unless that's what that synth sounds like. We won't know for sure. That's definitely not what that synth is supposed to sound like. Let's uh, maybe get a little bit more, uh, a little bit more. Ooh, all right. Close, it's gonna say restart. I'm gonna say, I believe in you. I don't know what the default buffer setting is. What the? I think I might have to stick with auto, even though this is a lot more responsive. <sighs> Let's see. You know what? I have the time to mess with it. Yeah, I know. It's a really small tool. It's really fun to work with. We're just gonna we're just gonna go with auto. Um, cause I'm not using. Sunbox is a good tool. Yeah, 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 yeah. Heckin' neato. The synths are so warm. Let's make a new file. We went over Family Tracker, a little bit of Deflamask. Um, in my personal opinion, I'm no, I don't come from the Tracker school, but I freaking adore Sunbox. Anyone around here would know that. Um, you can do a lot of stuff that you can do in most other DAWs, some sample manipulation, not a lot, but not a little. Um, yeah, and also like I don't, I don't even know if I'm running ASIO. Probably not. <clears throat> it's just using like Windows Direct Sound or something like that. Um, and also for this stream setup, I can't. Um, like I don't have a setup right now to route the audio from like an audio card. Um, back into the the broadcasting room, um, which would actually save a whole lot of heck. Let's uh, load a new project. That's empty. So when you open up Sunbox, it'll uh, look kind of like this. Um, let me know if you want to follow along, and I'll and I'll and I'll wait. We can kick it. Um. Because, yeah, we do audio and video over the same line. It's like HDMI, right? 
Um, <clears throat> and so in order to, to get that to work properly, like what we do with Jake and Robbie's audio is we have a separate audio line, um, that runs from their respective rooms, which is nice when it works, um, which is most of the time. Anyway, nodes, right? Is anyone, is anyone getting in on this? So I can add modules. <laughs> really just new modules is the way to go. What is this scale thing? Don't snap for grid, whatever. Anyway, we'll add a new module. We have synths, we have effects, we have miscellaneous, which are kind of like synth effects, uh, pitch control, uh, it's just some modulation, some meta module, multi synth controls. Um, if we want to make a patch that uses multiple things, for those crazy folk in the audience, we do have an FM synth, and this is like a thing, you know. But if I want an FM synth to go through, like, I guess Echo is pretty common. Cool. So I can right click, whoa. To make a new module, I can left click to kind of select the object. And I think if I hold shift and left click, I can draw a line. And there's like a little tiny, whoa, that's cool. There's a little tiny dot. If I zoom in, I'm scrolling and holding control and shift. But there's this tiny dot that shows the direction of, oh, it's coming from here, going to there, right? Um, so I can hear. And I like this because you can actually record, um, <clears throat> you can modulate all of these parameters. But you can also record chords. Um, which is kind of difficult to do in Pammy Tracker. I think there's a setting where it'll like automatically split chords across channels or something like that. Um, but unless you're using like a VRC or some other kind of like additional voice module, it's really difficult to get polyphony that is believable <clears throat> because that's not really what those things did. Um, unless you're doing like two tones at a time, right? So if your bass over here and you have two other voices that make up the rest of your chord. Or just two voice chords. Hey, that's totally fine. Um, so yes, this interface makes way more sense for touch interfaces. Totally true. You can grab this thing um, for a tablet or a phone or whatever. I have it on my phone, actually. Um, and it's like, I don't know, maybe 10 bucks or something like that. And I think that just covers the cost of putting this thing on there. But yeah, I have a, I've got the thing, right? I don't know if you could see it. But uh, a couple of different, you know, oh, put in notes and it, yeah. Cool. And it's pretty much the same, like, it's feature, it's, it's the same features, right? It's got feature parity across every version. The cool thing about these versions uh, that are not mobile, that's right. It is free on PC, exactly. So let me just uh, do like another another plug for those of you who are not what the crowd capture read me what what uh, let's go to my email. No, let's do this. Uh, warm place, swarm place, warm place dot ru slash software sunbox. You can go here. This place. This is the place. Um, and I have no idea what the most recent version is. Oh, it looks like I'm using it. Hey, so there's another release coming soonish. Um, that's totally fine. It definitely is updated less frequently than I'd like. I think if I can produce like an entire thing with, with Sunbox, like an entire project that uses mostly or only Sunbox, I've done a few songs that feature it. Um, but like this guy produces a lot of software like what is quantum vj what is it i don't know what is it simple glitch audio visualizer video generator nice take sound from stuff and then you can put the video of that sound on stuff i want to watch the demo Okay. Nice. 
neat. How about this? We're doing something with a camera. Cool. All right. Oh, and it works on tablets. Awesome. So yeah, I I think that this guy here, uh, I think it's what's the name? What's the name of this of this user? Uh, something noise night something. Been missing out. But yeah, this is totally the thing to do. Where do I sign up for these OHC things? Um, a a a Kai a Kai con. A, a, okay, I'm gonna just let me know if I'm wrong. A Kai can. A Kai can. Okay. Um. <clears throat> <laughs> you just hang out here on our Discord. Um, let me get chat up so I can yeah, potion something, 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 something. There you go. Team ad on top. We'll start in about 20 minutes. Yeah, that seems about right. But I think maybe I'll be using this tool today and I'll kind of do like a really rough and tumble uh, thing through it. So, yes, yeah, so you have this one voice, right? If you want to use Sunbox, I'm going to use Sunbox. Neat. And as we demonstrated, MIDI kind of goes through here. I can record. I just discovered that this thing has a metronome. But if you hit record. And then stop. It'll make a new pattern that places the right number of tracks, as well as velocity, <clears throat> the direction of what the heck instrument is being played, which is right here. It's much like Family Tracker, right? You click on this. Oh, this is a nice feature. Blam! There's instrument one. That's a pretty cool feature. All right. Um, that helps pretty stinking well. Let's see what's going on in chat. We post our finished tracks on the Discord, then we all listen to it here. That's right. No, 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 no. Somewhere else. What? Okay. Oh, well. I have no idea what's going on. Nice. Anyway, this thing has some really good synthesizer sounds, and it's a good sense of, like, what actual basic synth stuff is. So I want an analog generator, just like to put it there. Without any effects, it sounds pretty good. Very video game friendly. Whoop! That's right, I'm totally listening to your- I'm totally listening, I'm reading your conversation. Um. Yeah, so, and this might actually not be the best method for inputting, like, right, live recording is cool, especially when you're working in a lower latency situation. I can put down a new module for, I think they have just like a basic drum synth, uh, which I think is noise-based, right? So I have... Nice. Renoise. I never messed with Renoise. Oh, hey, Duggan3. What's cracking? Um, right, let's look at Renoise just briefly before we get this thing going, because I don't even know what that's about. Renoise. It's like noise, but again, it's a digital audio workstation. Oh, that looks cool. I'm into that. Do 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 do. It's like Cubase, kind of. Has a lot of tones. Tell me about your product. Oh, I see. Tracker interface. Ah. Once you get rolling with the keyboard shortcuts, there's no stopping you. Pattern mixing. Cool. Um, so yeah, this is, I guess, similar to Renoise. There isn't really a mixer interface. There kind of is, in the sense that um, each of these things can be muted and soloed, right? Um, and we can also 
get a adjusted view of the thing. Um, and we can also put more modules in between these modules. Like if I want to have another gain stage, um, right? I can just put that here. Like, oh, you're just not loud enough, guy, right? Boom, boom. I'll get rid of that one, right? And so now I have this guy. You just need you just need an amplifier. So I can mix this way. Mint Potion, are we going to submit files to Family Tracker OCC files? That would be cool to do in the stream if I download the demo. I suppose um in the last um, maybe I'll cut my work off earlier. Let me know in one of these chats. I need to make sure I have Discord open as well. Uh, let's get Mint Potion chat pop out. Uh, Twitch. There we go. And then let's get Discord in there. Discord app. And so I'll be hanging out here. Um, let me know what tools you're using. And... I should be able to play them natively if I download them in advance. I don't know that I'll be able to do that with Renoise, but MP3s are always appreciated and probably preferred if you have the time to render one of those. Um, waves are fine. Those are going to show up here in the Bard Cancel on Twitch, um, where we have, you know, Lisa, Lisa, Cold Jam, and Houdini. Um, got stuff going on. We're talking about. Oh, that's right. We're also talking about tomorrow we're going to start working on, like, an 80s track. Garion came up with this idea, um, where you have about a week to write your best 80s-inspired or 80s-sounding jam. I haven't even mentioned from somebody over here. Oh, thank you. Other mentions are there. Don't mention it. Hey, what's going on? My brother downloaded Smash on his Wii U. Good, because we're going to play that. Um, there's also food on Discord. Everyone likes food most of the time. Look, we actually have categories. Holy cow. Awesome. Um, <laughs> hi, Elza Epsilon. Oh, sweet. I'm down with the week limit. So, yeah, a week to make a really 80s track. Um, is the, is the request, and I think great idea from Garion, so I totally want to do that. Um, and Garion's here. Oh no. Oh, oh no. Rainer Creative Works. We've got a whole crew. I think Rainer Creative Works has been doing a lot of chiptune streams as well. Um, of course, those of you who are regulars are going to see me tear up with this. Uh, I'm going to delete that pattern. But if I have a pattern, right... A lot of the same rules apply, right? I can go through each channel. I can add more tracks, right? Um, where are my pattern properties? Hide and add columns, level drawing, pattern properties. It's like not weird at all. So I can actually add more tracks. Um, we can change the length of a pattern, right? Um, to any arbitrary number. You can also shrink and expand it, which kind of scales the speed of the thing. That's right, Sunbox. It's tracker week. It's tracker week. Anybody can, anyone, I don't know. I want to say pick a tracker. Because, I mean, with 20 minutes, I do not have a lot of time. 15 minutes. I do not have a lot of time to get people up to speed. If you are interested, um, like, I will try and run through a lot of the similar things that are in here. These, uh, the edit mode is different. I mean, you still hit space. I think I can do this to change the step size. So let's go through here and maybe do like one line, right? Uh, they should be over there. No, no, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. This just in, I'm wrong. Yeah. Okay, Jose. And so we can play here, play pattern. Um, this doesn't have, I don't think has a node off event, but the cool thing about that is I can turn the sustain off here, right? And 
I really need a longer release. Yeah, just play that pattern. I'm a little bit confused. Right? And I think that'll just loop. I can take that signal and add it to this echo. Um, I think we can do a bunch of stuff. Let's try a control module. Picture control, multi-control, meta modules. I don't even know what most of this stuff is. Sunvox seems to be a bit inspired by Buzz. Uh, maybe. Let's go see what Buzz is. Is it a tracker? Oh, yeah. Definitely. All right. Not unreasonable. So anyway, you can create your own complicated, complica complicated, wow, complicated network of sounds. I'm trying to remember how to select a group. Change this up to four. This is like made for me. Node based tracker plus DAW. That's right. And down here, we can arrange the song as well. So I can duplicate out patterns, right? By hitting Control D. You can also right click and duplicate, right? Um, I can make new patterns. And you can make new patterns anywhere. It means you can do an arrangement that's like, oh, yeah, sure, this is great. Double click. I set this to a certain length. Cool. Um, no, I don't want to exit to OS. Close. Like I said, we can set our playhead over here. Um, maybe I want like to select my drum synth, hit record. Oh, so rhythmically solid. Yeah. I'm just putting down some notes. I'm not really recording. But what this does do is it gives us something like keys. No, this isn't keys. This is drums. Uh, cool. And then we can change our icon even if you're feeling crazy. Uh, so we can change the foreground and background color. We can draw on the foreground and background. So I can make this like, oh, yeah. You know that one that sounds like a shoe? You know, and then you like draw a shoe or whatever. So I can like clear it and then like go into, I guess, the foreground and draw like a shoe. This is such a shoe right now. You guys, I'm making the best shoe. So you can even do that. So when you're looking at it up here or down here, it kind of stands out. So there's definitely a lot of cool stuff going on with this type of arrangement capability. I can copy and paste. Um, so these are two different instances of the same thing versus this, which is all referencing the original track, as you can see by this this line here going across the bottom. Um, and that's like the short of it. That's about the size of it. There isn't too much going on. There's a lot of cool stuff. Oh, modulation is important. Can I go over that in five minutes? Probably. 
Um, so let's find, here, let's do this. I really want to get rid of a bunch of this stuff. Um, let's delete some modules. All right, so let's go back to this. I need a filter, maybe? Uh, just a regular old filter, filter pro. I don't know. How about a regular filter? I'm not going to go pro right now. You might not go pro now, but you're going to get paid like Barry White, man. So. So I have different waveforms here. Triangle's nice. Saw, beautiful. I like their half sign and like other other analog square. Oh yeah, that C chord. Ooh, they added this as a default feature. So you can also draw this waveform. Whoa. And I don't think you can draw the envelope, but you can do pretty basic custom waveform stuff. Um I like this type of sounds pretty soft they also have something that sounds like that so sign half sign is probably one of my favorite sounds what's going on Tom for nickels all right uh sweet and some other weird sign squared thing I guess it interprets uh, the drawing differently, maybe? Oh, I guess. Um, but let's get to what I was getting at. Uh, I have this filter, yeah? Yeah, you do. And um, I want to modulate this parameter. What I can do, um, I think I can actually hit record. Does this actually have any note data? Let's delete this. Get, get rid of all of it. Or use a new pattern, whatever. So let's put in some note data. Uh, so I put in a chord and it stacks across all three. Like it just puts these notes down. That's not cool. <laughs> I wish that, uh, there's probably a parameter that allows me to change that. Um, oh, that's fine. Let's put some notes down. Because I want to demonstrate... Uh, let's see. Let's go to the top of this pattern. You're too long. Here? So I have a controller... Effect. And the effect that we're going to adjust is effect 1. Right? Oh no, this is MIDI effects. I don't want that. Show me those levels. Wait, you? X, Y levels of drawing. There's this. So I can draw mapped parameters like this. Um, but let's make sure that they go to the right objects. I think that if I were to play this now, it wouldn't do what I wanted it to do. I want to believe that I can just record this and that it'll do that, right? I don't know where the heck that even is. If that's going to do even the heck what I want. Uh, how about, you're also not recording, man. Help, I am becoming a gourmet. That's a pretty good problem, I guess. So here I have a control track. Um, can I show that? It's control XY. 
Disable level drawing. I should be able to see that property. So for this object, which doesn't seem to have any information, can I look at the device? I see this is just mapping for me. Oh, here it is. Whoa. So now we can see that I've recorded five channels of that information. Hooray. Uh, properties. And I only need one track that has that map data. Okay. And we should be able to see playing from some arbitrary position of this pattern. This thing should actually move. Yep. So we do have visualized uh, curves. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> there you go. Anyway. So that's how you put down most types of data into uh, Sunbox. There are a couple of other things, like you can sample a PNG file. You can draw in your own sample for a thing. You can import, I think, XI instruments uh, or IT instruments. Uh, let me make a new sample module. Uh, there's a Vorbis player that lets you play audio files. The sampler, I don't think, has any samples in by default, but Sunbox comes with a bunch of IT files. This is empty, you know what I'm saying? But I can load Sunbox multi touch stuff. Uh can I go up a level? Do 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 these are sunbox builds. I want samples or instruments. So I got sun synths, pads, keyboards, winds. It does have some patches. This is not what I want. Uh, okay, yeah, that's fine. You can load raw data. Play me a thing. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably not a great idea. All right, cool. Go eat you a bread. Um, it's about four o'clock. You guys know what that means. It's time for the one hour competition. Make yourself a new file in your thing of choice. Um, you know, that's fine. I think for me it's going to be this. Um, I'm going to make a bunch of noise. I downloaded AdLoad Tracker. Do your thing, Duggan. I want you guys to show me what your trackers can do. If your trackers can render out an audio file, <laughs> we're going to do that. Okay. So complex, yet so delicious. There's so much stuff going on with all of these tools. Um, let's see what we can do with... Uh, see what we can do in an hour. Um, I should set the timer, as I've done in the past. Uh, I need a timer for an hour. Google, just do it. Blam. And we're good. How about that? Good guy Google, just doing its thing. Alright, so this is gonna be your reference. Cause, you know, Alexa or whatever. Um, sweet. And this is it. You have 59 minutes and 40 seconds. Um, anything that will get us an audio file back that we can listen to, um, be sure to get it over to the Discord um, in Bard Council, just because that's where this is. If you don't know where the Discord is, um, for a reference, it's here. I'm not going to make anything particularly good, because I like to mess around with patches for years and years and years. Um, so believe in yourself and uh, go out there and win and I'll otherwise talk to myself please ask questions if you have them if you're interested in Sunbox I might be able to answer some of those questions um, but hey maybe, maybe not so let's, let's go man
Let's go. Give me that song. Sure. What is this? Face. I don't even I don't even know what the shortcut keys are. I can undo, that's a good one. Um <laughs> let's hide this level drawing thing. Needs like a good idea. Does anyone have a good idea? I didn't talk about timing too much. That's all right. Uh, turn sustain off. You get linear. Hmm. Uh, maybe we'll take it down to one. How's that feel? Sweet. What? What? And they're, and they're off. The space. Sixty four pattern properties go twice as long as before. Close. Uh, duh. Uh, F10, I think. F9, F12, F8. Come on, man. Filter. Thank you. 
And that LFO's got to be slow, man. Filter exponential frequency, man. Whatever. Let's do this. It's you. Like very, very slow. Uh huh. Okay. Get that in there. Maybe like on eight is what it sounds like to me. Something like that. So if I were to make a new pattern, copy paste. I want to keep this guy. I want to get rid of this guy. Just have one track. Line them up. Yeah. And then the new pattern, new pattern. It's maybe this one. Close. All right, let's keep. Tr 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 All right, pretty good. And uh, I need like a new thing. New. What's a Spectre voice? I don't know. Yeah. How long does your compositions usually turn out? Uh, usually over the course of an hour, I can maybe pull off one or two minutes that I don't hate. Um, I have not quite reached the level of, like, I haven't reached the level that I want to, you know? There's, there's a lot of practice. I usually have a lot of, a lot more time, I guess. Uh, like, for like an eight minute in the last couple of weeks it could be like eight minutes of some of the best work I can do for like okay KO has come to be it's about ten hours of work.
Spectre voice. Okay. Let's 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 put it back. Kind of like I need that long tone. But Let's put you through an echo. And maybe get rid of that connection. I will check your friend request in about 55 minutes. <laughs> I'm not so I'm not so cool that I can just do this and not like I don't know. But yes, cool. Oh, my ringtone is in key with this tune. So let's play this pattern. And maybe we'll figure out like a line to go with this. <laughs> Typo moments. Da -da -da. Something like that. So maybe this is something that I want to record. I don't know. Let's give it a shot. Hit that record button. I can change that first note. Actually, supposed to be here. Uh, it's not F six. It's or little F. It's Hugh. Like that. Let's see how bad that timing is. It's not bad. All right, let's get a drum synth in there. Uh, routing, oh no, that's not what I want. How would I save my work? Ugh, how about that? What do you think of that, that saving stuff? Uh, more help than a little. Dot sunbox, beautiful. Um, Let's turn it up. Turn it up. So let's guess about our timing here. I usually start with the drums and trackers because I don't see this grid, I think, properly. You know, that's fine. Some people, some people can. So that certainly is a kick. 
We have a lot of options. Neat. Yeah, let's do something with that. So, I think in order to keep my creepiness creepy, stick with eight. I'm gonna see how far out that is, just real quick. Uh, it's only cool. Um, and so I can put that drum in this track. And, and let's see, what are, we, what are we messing with? So, okay. That means that this snare sound. That one that's kind of the same thing. There we go, that's better. So cool thing about tractors is pretty much that. I think if you know if you know your timing well, then you're gonna have a good experience with that. It still, kind of falls in this weird place where it doesn't it isn't one thing or another. Like the song isn't uh, or the song properties, project properties, cool. So we have this beats per minute thing that's a little bit more telling, ticks per line. We could turn it up here. Let's have a look. Can we do it while it's running? We can also change the division of the grid so that it makes sense. I think four is fine. And I have enough of a guide now with this to actually have interest, interesting rhythm. Intense. Playing Intestines Zelda. Uh, yeah, so put one there for sure. And then I think somewhere up here. I'll just put this. Uh, let's copy and paste it. Let's go a little bit crazy here, right? Oh, that paste doesn't make any sense. And then I need another track, man. Hi. Two. And is this the sound I want? Yeah. Just filling it out. Let's see if that feel sticks. And I can get a feel of maybe something that swings a little bit better if I change the time between six. Neat. All right, so now let's do this. Just add a little hit in between. Do 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 do. do. Composing in a normal sense, I don't know, it depends on the quality, right? 
the more time you have to work on something, the better you can make it. Up to a point where it's like overworked, right? So. Yeah. Sweet. Duplicate. Duplicate me, guy. Delete selected patterns. I want a duplicate of it. This, I think, has more potential. Oh, okay. Uh, new. I'm just gonna use every every possible sound that I can. You know, this isn't really like affected very deeply, and I could be spending more time on sounds themselves. Let's go to a section that has all of these sounds, like you. Neat. That sounds cool. Maybe a little, little harsh. You can switch between different modules to sidechain, it's crazy.
All right. I need something round, something spooky. It's about that time, isn't it? It's almost Halloween time. Input, like audio input? I'm afraid. Do 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 do. What's going on, Impala? Oh, wait, that's the wrong song. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, noises. Yeah, we're doing like a one hour, a one hour thingo. Awesome. Yeah. And so I don't know what other trackers people are using, but last week we were doing like, we're alternating between all gear one week. It's, no, this is trackers. So this week you use a tracker and then the next week you use all gear. I think it's a pretty good myth method. There are also some interesting other gems that are coming up if you're just joining us, um, like our buddy Jake here. We have an upcoming thing where we're going to do an 80s track. Uh, you have a week to produce an 80s track. 80s track. Yeah. So, you know, these are the uh, kind of the parameters determined by Garion. Oh, Garion is a good man. Parameters. That's what I'm, that's what I'm saying. He's a, he's a parameter. So we're in the, we're in the bread council. Just, uh, you know, baking up some tracks. Not to be confused with the Bacon Council. <laughs> Which... I'm trying to see how... Holy... Yeah, that way Shaper works. Smooth! Dope! You just don't like harmonics. Every time I see or hear Garion's name, I think of Dark Savior. I don't know what flavor that is, but... Cool. That's a neat noise. I don't know if it's a, if it's a spooky noise. That's getting spooky. Dope. That's probably a thousand percent because of this thing. Let's bypass it. I'm using um, Sunvox. Um, it's a it's a weird program. It's free. Um, check it out in the in 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 the internet. Uh, <laughs> hold on a sec. Let me let me detract from my. This isn't about me. I make I make music all the time. It's about everyone submitting a track. And what's the timer say? Twenty nine minutes. We are halfway through. So th here it is. Um, well, welcome back to the stream. I recognize your username. And uh, I'm just kind of making weird noises to go with this weird track. Maybe this going through the wave shaper will... Okay, okay, okay. So we're getting actually pretty nice distortion, and I'm into that. Still kind of pushing it. 
Um, did they make a limiter module? I feel like they wouldn't. I can use a compressor as a hard limiter, but we're not going to. We're just gonna... But it's a way squishy tool. That's right. We're changing the pattern. We can't just be modifying patterns on the fly. Here's your timer. 27 minutes. Um, I'm just put down something because I wanted to. There's really no rhyme or reason to 90% of the stuff that I do. It just so happens. That's a spooky clock. Um, I think... Let's do that on the one subdivision and Just guessing. Sweet. Oh, buy that for a dollar. I mean, it's time to it's time to spook out, man. Spook, spoop, spoop on. So now I got something there. I can duplicate that. Um, I want to get my spooky specter voice back. This has become a little bit too glassy for me. So maybe let's see. Oh, that's pretty good. But this harmonics. Ah, uh, maybe that's fine. I don't know. Ah, uh, fuck it. Let's just, just run for it. Pardon my English. Let's dance. Um. Yeah, that's called uh, not the greatest of patterns. Yes, I would like to overwrite my previously saved file. Uh, okay. How about that file format, baby? I really... This patch is losing its, uh... Its charm. And it's because of all of this other crazy stuff it's trying to focus on. Is it you? Uh, polyphony. Sustain, I'm less worried about. You hear that? 
I can't tell where that's failing me. Is it you? Organ two, organ one. Sounds cool. Does it sound cool like it was supposed to? if we have any samples of like uh know, like chains or something like janky like that get that sampler back up in here i want to load a sample so by default it goes into sunbox examples uh what is sunbox compo no don't do that let me click right on through this interface man i told you homeboy all right, so these are Sunbox files. This is MIDI out. That's cute. I could have sworn this program came with like a bunch of IT files or other things. King King Glossians. Other Pong. No, 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 no. Instruments. Right. FX maybe. Right? Eh, no. Shaker. So they're XI samples. That'll work. Um, do they have anything crazier? Maybe like a symbol we can distort? Crash.wave. Sure. Why not? So now my sampler needs to, like, go through a thing. What do I have going? A wave shaper, sure. Sounds wonderful. So it'll play a file back. Which is super useful. Sweet, we're totally going to record that. Oops. Oh, uh, yes. That could be the end of the song. I don't know. We're at least prepared. Um, so this is clearly not keys. I can double click it and rename it to Crash Evil. Because it's so evil, this this whole track is just demonic. Um, you have 20 minutes left um, to get your stuff rendered and on Discord. You know, dig this timer. Thanks, Google. Do you know that it returned 3 million results even though it automatically did what I wanted it to do? How did I choose the notes for the lead? That is a great question. Holy crap, I wish I could answer it in, in due time. Um, but it has a lot to do with the key that I'm messing around in and following the bass to infer other notes. Um, I've been having issues with bass lines recently just because I hear inversions all over the place. Like I don't hear chords normally or something. So what I'm doing is framing the wrong bass line. <laughs> Um, so that it fits around a bunch of chords that are in that same key. Let me find an instrument to kind of illustrate this. Um, so... Is the bass line, right? And so, the first note... Uh, let's see...
comes from that note. Right? So they're all in A flat minor and arpeggiating. So a little bit of I've heard it I've heard something I've heard similar things like it's clearly inspired from something but also double sharps yeah man I'm not being in harmonically correct around here you know I don't have those capabilities but it's all it's all it's all signs it's it's all yes it's all based around dancing with that bass line and also a lot of the a lot of the musical decisions i've been making especially with this keyboard have to do with avoiding d flat <laughs> because this key doesn't always work and it's in the middle of my keyboard and it drives me nuts um that's that's literally one of the reasons uh why certain things are just in that key double sharps and flats so if i have uh quickly i have c c sharp and c double sharp it's really just a whole step right yeah uh, why would they be used? It's so that it's easier to read in sheet music. A lot of the terms that we use are for written music. But TMAT is... Well, I mean... He's in a, TMAT's in a run with it because he's that guy. You've got 15 minutes to get your track in. Um, I'm going to put some more spooky notes in. Maybe where's that FM synth that, yo? Is it you? Are you being used at all? I can see why not. Let's get that ratio up. Yo. You know, usually we don't want this, except in the event that we do have a kind of Ooh, today's the day. It's actually a really... It's a pretty simple FM synthesizer by uh, most standards. Like, I would say, kind of basically. But that's eerie. Sweet. Does a pretty basic thing. I like that, though. Let's do it. I should like put an explosion there because we just blew up the spot, the spot, as my buddy would say. <sighs> All right, um, cool. So now I have an FM sound. It's not particularly interesting. Maybe we'll put it also through that signal train here. So play me that pattern. 
Or the whole song, why not? Freestyle. Oh yeah, it's the same pattern over and over again. Well, let's build an intro out of that. Let's get into the arrangement mode. If this is like the core of our group, right? Or the core of our groove. We can copy and paste this. Uh, kind of break it down as we go. Uh, so duplicate that a couple times out. Uh, move this guy over. Middle mouse, there we go, baby. Uh, dupe. I want all of you... I want a version of my drums that I might just trim down. And a version of this thing uh, do, that I can just kind of put as a bridge because it's not particularly timed attentively, right? Um, I like this sound, so what I might want to do is select all of these notes and remove them go 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 delete backspace remove edit stop okay well there's got to be a better way to do this can i clear maybe what if i select the stuff that i want to copy come on dude Ugh. this is where you this is where those home and end keys come in handy because I can take all of this stuff. It's a long pattern. Copy, copy, copy. Cool. Pattern properties. Not the best user interface. I'll be the first to admit that. Cool. Close. Home key. Hey, you did your job. Dope. Paste. Now we're talking. So now I have a version of this pattern. Let's get my FM guy going through an echo thing. Also, you need to be a little bit less harsh. We're going to... One good way, rule of thumb, to get harsh highs out of your mix is to reverb that stuff. Hello, hello. So we'll get this pretty wet. Um, and we'll try that again. With the sweet. Hi. Yeah, they're all in here. Um, I don't know what they're doing. You have nine minutes left. I don't know what you're doing. Alright, FM... We are going to record the volume of this thing here. Not the volume of this thing, the volume of this thing. We're going to record that when it comes in. So what I'll do here, I'll give myself a little bit of run time. I'll hit record. Pull this down. I get a new controller track, which is just beautiful. I'm so glad that that feature exists. And uh, I think I'm gonna render. Maybe I can like normalize it and do a couple of things in Audacity. Um, and harmonic equivalents, that's right. Uh, otherwise the same notes, just with different names, for the sake of the key. That's really what it's all about. 
double flats and double sharps are for the sake of the key that you're trying to preserve instead of switching keys in order to describe this note. Um, that's essentially it. Okay, so let's, um, I have a minute and 15 seconds of music roughly, which is pretty good. You have 7 minutes and 40 seconds of time roughly um, to get a track up, and I will download that track. Um, I'm going to render this track after I save it. Make sure you save your work, ladies and gentlemen. I don't really have much of an outro either, but let's actually, I should probably listen to it before I just like render it like a, like a jerk. All right. I guess I can ride this fader too. Hold on. Get crazy. So record, I'm going to go on my filter here and we're going to ride the frequency. Yeah. I really need to normalize this. Don't like it. You are just so loud, my friend. My friend? You are so loud. That's pretty scoopy. Scoopy. Also spooky. Alright. No, 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 no. Just play from here. Where the heck am I playing this pattern? I only hear it twice? If it's the same thing as that, then do that. Duplicate me, Captain. Do it. It's very... Uh, cancel. It's pattern. Copy, paste, and then, you know, pray. You know, I really don't have to. I have four minutes. I got to go and download some tracks, you guys. I, I'd, I'd say, I mean, I'm, I'm, I got somewhere. Uh, I wouldn't say it's, it's great. It's, it's, I'm proud that it's a thing. And for about an hour of work, you know, without any distractions, it's pretty good. Oh, let's get another one of these those 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 creepy samples of this of the symbol in there. Let's do that. Arf, 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 arf. Simple to write BB for one note instead of noting a key change. Yeah. Cool. All right, well, whether you're taking part or not, you have three minutes to render out your business. Um, and by business, of course, I mean the track, not any other ridiculous thing. Thank you very much. Um, in order to do that in Sunbox, I'm going to go to Export Import. We can export MIDI, which is neat. Um, but I'm going to export a WAV file. It's going to be 16-bit. It's going to be a, a single file out, but I guess you can render... Oh, file per module. Neat. So we can actually render stems. And, uh, you know, that's cool. Not going to do that, though. We're just going to take it to the desktop. 
Probably. Oh, Bizhawk. Perfect. That's the name of the thing I can never remember. Let's go to C users. Apple? What? I don't know. Just, I just, all users. I just want to. I just want to be me. I just want to. What's going on here? So, uh, Mint Potion's a user. Mint Potion has a desktop. Yeah, that seems about right. Let's call it the thing. That did. Oh, that rendering process, baby. So fast. So good. More than a little help is the name of the file. I need more than a little help to turn a wave into an MP3 file. This is how you do it. I use Audacity. Audacity is pretty good. Also, I kind of want to analyze this track of it. Um, yeah. So let's do some effective stuff. Let's like EQ the thing, right? Let's use like a pre existing EQ, like that sweet RIAA curve. Uh, that's a really huge boost, actually. Um,. Can I do that? Uh, okay, here's the issue that I have with this. It'll work, but it'll suck. So that's not what I want. I want to... Paul stretch it. <laughs> Let's do that. <laughs> I'm running out of time, aren't I? Give a minute and three seconds. Dun, dun, dun. 59 seconds. I don't know if there's enough time. I just want to normalize this track. That's really why I came in here. Uh, there we go. Okay. And then I want to... Um, yeah, I can't really mess up. I can't really mess with that. I want to export it. P3. There's no time. There's no time. The thing that did, desktop, export, as a nice mp3, I guess? Whatever. Standard, go. Okay, cool. When you're done with that, um, make sure to hit us up in here, where you submit your tracks on the Bard Council. Um, because we like you. Um, you have time to be slightly late. Um, this is, this is, this is how we do it. Like Blackstreet. That's time. Time. Right on time. Alright, so I guess stop working on your stuff. Google, you suck, man. Shut up. Shut. We get it, man. Jeez. Anyway. Uh, save changes before closing? No. So here we go. Um, I'm going to start a new folder. And uh, I'll give y'all whole tone scale. Yes. I'm into that. Um, I'm going to open a new folder for today's Tracker OHC. LH, uh, Spooky, OHC, even though you, your track may not be Scoopy. Spooky. Why do I keep saying Scoopy? Maybe I really need ice cream in my life. You ever think about that? So your your tracks are gonna end up in this folder. I'm gonna download them like so. Give me that file. Put it in here. Yeah. What else you got? Hey yo. Also the XRMS project file. Whatever. I'll download that. Um. So yeah. Give everybody maybe like five ish minutes to um to get all of these things in, and uh. I don't know. Give me like a second. I'll be right back. All right. Gelato. Giovanni. Uh, Mar Mar Marcone. Mar 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 Mascarpone. Macaron. Macaroon. This isn't even. That's what I want to see. Yeah, that looks good. So many viewers. Hey, thank you guys so much for Team Ad. Um, we're not done yet. I'll be right back with your tracks.
We're taking a quick break. I did not go AFK. I probably still am AFK. I don't know. I just wanted to make sure I downloaded everybody's tracks. Got four. Let's see, Garion, that ARP. I like the idea. Oh dang, thank you guys. All right, um, so here we go. We'll listen together. I'll bring up chat. Chat looks like this. Hi chat. Hi chat. I have an SMS file, which I can't play right now. I do have Scoopy tracks, which is like spooky, except backwards. Um, do we have more than four tracks? Are we good? Are we good? Are we good? Are we good? Hello, welcome back. Hello, thank you so much for waving. There's, I, I learned about this. The so, that I happened to download the Renoise demo. Um, I did not. Is that what you uploaded? Is that what the XRMS thing is? Did I download the Renoise demo? Selena, I think. Yeah. Download the demo. Downloading the demo. Oh, give me that 64-bit Windows Renoise file right now. Except I don't want it on there. I want it maybe in here. Okay. <clears throat> and it'll take a minute to download. And maybe, um, I don't know, is it like a 30-day demo or something? Maybe I'll mess around with Renoise. You know, that would be fun. I don't know what the heck sounds Renoise make, but I mean, you know, it's a cool thing. I fear nothing. <laughs> I also want to try this other game out. So that's like neither here nor there, you know. Um, where's VLC? Where are my friends? Where's the stream? Oh no. Oh man. I don't know. It wasn't working. I didn't want to fight with it. Didn't have that kind of time. Streaming like it's 1991. <laughs> I could be. So I think it's an, un an unlimited demo? Reno's is an unlimited demo? Get the hell out of here, really? What are the limitations on that? How do I buy Reno's? Like, wow, just having an unlimited... Just having an unlimited demo makes me, like, want to buy it. <laughs> like, Cool, they have a sampler, they have a pattern matrix. It has keyboard. It works with OSC, which is cool. Jack, I've never gotten Jack audio connection kit to work properly. Um, oh, it's like 70 bucks, it's not bad. Do I have one of those? I don't. I did, but I must have put it somewhere. Ah. Renoise is not too expensive. To answer your questions in loaded demo, it's really well featured for its limitations. So good. So good. 90 bucks. Well, you know, we'll see if I can scoop that up. I don't know yet. I'll have to wait a couple weeks. Get some of that cash, yo. I was looking at a... Oh, you wanna hear... You wanna see something cool? Of course you do. Um, can I log in the Spreadshirt? I was, like, messing around with, like, t-shirts. I want to make mint potion t-shirts and, like, get a few of them. Email or username. How did you know my email or username? Sweet. Hello. You've logged in. Cool. I'd like to see my shirt or something. My shirt shop. Shops. We don't have it up yet, but we have some mint potion designs up. Um, we don't have, like, this is just... A demonstration? Oh, no products, huh? But, you know, we're putting up Mint Potion designs. Uh, you know, so you can make a shirt. I really, uh, you know, but a beanie? That seems kind of smart, right? Like, let's maybe make a beanie. Right? Hoodies, jackets. Like, that looks cool and all. Let's, like, just disable those views for now. Accessories. Got, like, 
bandanas for your dog. They have uh, impossible buttons and mouse pads and stuff. They don't have a beanie, huh? Oh, that's no fun. I can't mess with that. Anyway, that's an idea. Um, the jackets. I found out the difference between a jacket and a hoodie is a zipper. <laughs> a nugget plushie. Yeah, we definitely need to find, like, something, uh, you know, that's good. I don't know. Get, get, get at me on Discord, and we'll, like, figure it out. Um, but I've been kind of trying to set up a, a spread shirt zone that has some of our designs, you know, like, if I choose an existing design. Oh, man, seriously? I just want to see, like, I don't, you know, I don't want to search for a design. I want to use one that we've already uploaded. What is this? What is this junk? Number of products. Oh, they do have hats. Do they have... Oh, they have beanies. Let's select that. And then I want to maybe, like, upload an image of, like, let's grab really rapid. They're like, oh, this is can't printed because it requires like a certain technique or something I don't know uh, I don't even know what the what the problem is but you know something like that they have the stuff so you know we have weird names for clothes yeah pullovers synth guitar chugs uh okay wow all kinds of stuff came up anyway I think spreadshirt is the way to go I like the quality of their stuff I want to get like some some test stuff for people to wear around the building. Um, unless you can find a better thing. Actually, we have... Maybe I'll just order some black beanies or find, like, some mass sale of those. Because we have patches that are iron-on. Um, those iron-on patches on these beanies would be actually pretty brilliant. Um, so we'll find a few of those. I don't know. We'll grab, we'll grab some stuff, basically. Uh, but, you know, the short of it is their t-shirt kind of on the way, sort of, kind of. Like, I like this kind of color with, like, that kind of design. Where's my, where's the design? I get out of here. Um, can I delete that? Yes, I can. Apply. We're just going to sell brown shirts. Right? But, you know, something simple, yes, that's pretty cute. I don't know, something like that. But, anyway, we have some of those things. We have, you know, stuff. Uh, some designs kicking around. Nothing that is, I'm really sold on quite yet. Because this is all pretty basic and, you know, kind of built on stuff that already exists. Um, And I want to grab some sizes for people around the building and see what the heck we can actually do. I think jackets are kind of in order. Um, like using, I don't know, like this huge small window logo and what? Uh, let's just install this over here instead of over there. Uh, sure. As I totally, I've heard skullcap. What's in accessories? Not enough stuff. Let's, let's have a look at accessories. So they got like bags and mugs and phone covers. Those would probably come out pretty nice. We already have pins, actually. Um, does the dog come with the bandana? I don't think so. Uh, but I've looked around at a few different sites for material that doesn't suck. Actually, there's this other company that we got our patches from, the studio. Pretty good. Selena. Actually, I should go pull up that Selena mix by uh, Nameless to piss out, since it is Selena. Uh, Nameless Nation, I think, is the name of the. Wow, good. 
sweet. The pants wants to talk. That was fun to make. Um, but here we go. We'll listen to this on the way out. But first, let's review the tracks that we have finished. Let me start up by... Oh, Renoir's Quick Start. Come on, man. Just open Renoir. Here we go. Installing Renoir's, baby. Ooh. Neat. Thanks, man. So, if I were to... I don't know. Open this. Would it open another instance, or what? Can I just hit space to play? Dope. Well, let's get it started, then. There's all kinds of stuff going on at this track. Looks like we have a pattern sequencer up here. Um, I don't even know what the heck I'm looking at. So, you know, as far as introductions go, this will be that. Um, so here we are from, uh, let's see, do, 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 do. let me look at Discord again, because I forgot your name. Although I imagine, do, 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 do. it is you, Link Waker. Okay, good. I wasn't going to guess and seem like a jerk, you know? Do I look like a... I didn't answer that. So, here we go. Uh, let's renoise this. Goy. Review. Where are the instruments? What is all of this? This is cool. So here's like an instrument patch, I guess, stuff that comes with the program. Um, here are different instruments that we're picking from. Here's the mixer view. Um, I assume that master is somewhere the heck over here. Primary sound driver. I can put gainer here. I want to insert an effect, I imagine. Other effect chains? Uh, no. I just want a single effect. Effect preset? Cool. So there's a gainer preset. Um, so gainer is panning. Gainer is in this chain down here. It is doing its thing. There's some sort of mastering thing as well. Um, we need to control the peak. Um, can't type that in. This is just telling me how hot the actual track gets. Um, the only thing that I would manage is, uh, I don't know, I guess auto gain, but then also make sure that we don't go over. We're just going to kick it down one. And then I guess I scroll through here. <laughs> well done. This is a uh, Link Waker with the Phil Collins like event. Oh, you got some like cool automation links. Jake is loving it. He's over here screaming. I'm just like getting a good look at what the heck Renorse is actually doing. Oh, I see. So you're doing this effect by automating the gainer. Ah. Oh. Cool. 
Sweet. Well, thank you so much for that. Um, sweet. So I have no idea how to use this tool at all, but we have it installed now, so we can do that. Um, do I want to save changes? Nah, that's 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 like their XMX file. Um, let's see. Let's see what's going on where. So this is that track rendered out. We just listen to it. Self-governing socialism. Nice album art. I peer pressure Jake all the time. It kind of worked. <laughs> Am I missing any trap? Do do do. Uh -oh. So gimbaled laser beams. Let's see. Beauty in stepper. Okay. Cool. Where's Gimbal Laser Rooms? Is that from Garion? Hungarian? Let's listen to that again. Jake was just talking about Garion a minute ago during the break. About. Right, he had to move some rocks like a Dwarf Fortress like character. <laughs> he was just assigned randomly to another task. <laughs> Yes. Uh, um, okay, Ko will let us compose on stream. It's just a matter of that not getting in the way. <laughs> um, stream tech and music tech have been just going through a lot of tumult lately, and we're going to have that rearranged in the next couple weeks. We just ordered a bunch of equipment to fix that. Here's the thing that did. This is the thing that I did. Or that underscore did. Please stream Dwarf Fortress. You people are too nerdy for me. Uh. Actually, I'm a geek. I'll have you know. Because nerds are cool. I saw a person who actually made Sunbox was streaming Caves of Cud. Um, and I'm only going to play my track because we heard it before. Like, the whole stream was just riding it. I like that compressor, though, doing its job. Gary and microphone donation fund. I'm into that. Thank you, man. Good, good. We can, we can email him a microphone. I have a microphone kicking around. Because we blew up. Alright, and finally, Beauty and Step. Well. This is a new, a new person. Yeah. Great question. Nice. So we have an XRNS file, which is Arduino is file. Let's get this. Uh... Let's get this open as well. Wow, you Renoise guys are going to have to show me how you do all of this stuff. Samplers. So there is a sampler in you somewhere. Some MIDI routing. I agree. 
Oh, and it ends like all like slowing and creeping. Let's have a look at the Renoise file. That's super sweet. So a couple of Renoises in here. I, you know, I think we're still gonna do all gear, especially if you're doing the um, 80s on Discord. Um, that's definitely the thing to do for sure. Please come back. Thank you so much for contributing your track. I want to take a look at the Renoise file. Just to see, like, what the heck this? What what does it do? We can rename and recolor stuff. I like this look a lot. It's so smooth. What a nice, what a nice spectrum. What is this synthesizer? How does it work? What is this thing? So let's see, native effects. Do I have instruments by chance in here? What am I doing? I want to know, I want to know what this is. There's like stuff down here. There's native effects, meta, routing, doofers? Whatever a doofer is. That's so pretty though. Ah. So does this like allow you to record like a chord, like a wide into this? Go into sampler, okay. So this is that thing, got you. Maybe, right? Like if I... I have like some kind of sample. What else am I doing? There's all kinds of stuff in here. It's crazy. So this is coming from... This guy. Oh, and you can see like what channel is contributing to what part of the spectrum here. We also have a good like stereo, stereo view thing. I like this though. It's got that good early Aphex tone to it. Like what are you? Access come out some kind of snare maybe? Yeah, this is the first time I've opened Reno, so I have no idea what's going on. Uh, for the first sample... Top right? What are you... what? Go to sampler. This is the first sample, I guess? And then I have this other thing. Only appears that there's a hi-hat. I don't know. I, I moved the panning on accident. Pretty neat stuff. Okay, so yeah, I think definitely we're going to explore this a bit more. Oh, here we go. This is what you're talking about. So here we have the sample view. Ah. Neat. So is the sampler like the, the bass instrument, or are there synthesizers in Renoise? I gotta know. Because, I mean, using, using like, wavetable synthesis is definitely a thing. And I suppose Renoise is also like a VSC host. Um, let's see. How do I load plugins? Set keyboard focus, show hidden devices, sure. There aren't any hidden devices, boo. Let's see. But it's a big powerful smaple. There are no built-in synths, gotcha. Alright. What now, we have to give this guy a quad? Just general, like, you remember the old, like, uh, Microsoft, or like, Windows Vista, like, uh, hands-free, like, screen, screen locator thing. Stop getting distracted. Okay, okay, okay. Anyway, those are the tracks, ladies and gentlemen, for this week. I'm going to archive them. 
I'm not going to make changes to your file. Um, everyone was pretty cool doing their thing. I like how everyone came up with something completely different, which I guess happens all the time, right? I mean, so far so good. We've got three of these in a row. Um, and I know we've done a couple more in the past, but, you know, hey, great job. Absolutely. Tom, or Tom, wow, I did it again. Don't tell Tom again. Uh, team had great job this week. I vote Arian. Arian definitely, he did the thing. I vote for Nugget. Nugget is a cheater. I'm going to say it right now. I'm going to put this on our archive here. Projects. Uh, fun. I have a folder here called a little help OHCs. And I'm going to copy this week. Wham. To the server. Um, I vote Link Waker. I think so. I don't know. There, there, there cannot be only one winner. Everybody who submitted something wins. And those of you who couldn't make the time, didn't. But, um, since it is uh, Selena Appreciation Day, according to, uh, according to Google, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to unlike and like this track so it goes back out there on Twitter and uh, play it. And that'll be our closing, uh, our closing thing. Everyone wins. If everyone wins, then no one's a winner. Something like that. I don't know. <clears throat> but we might have more shows coming up. Might have less shows. I want to try out Overwatch. Or Overwatch. <laughs> no, not Overwatch. Overgrowth. Because I came out of uh, Alpha. Overgrowth is in 1.0 now. I was, like, downloading it. Uh, where is it? Library. This game, right? It's got rabbits and stuff. Um, let's copy the key to clipboard. You know, you could just copy and paste that key. Um, but before I even really get into that... Uh, you guys have a good day. <laughs> we all win. <laughs>